I don't want to talk about this movie. Like, I sincerely don't want to give this movie the time of day, but look, there's going to be spoilers. It's not going to be that long because I have to probably see it again to be able to really focus on what I really liked and what I didn't like because my feelings on this movie are not solidified by any means necessary. And look, it's the holidays. I've been having such a busy week planning and just getting ready for the holidays that I don't even have time to do this review like in depth. So here's just a couple quick points and there will be spoilers, but I'm not going to go into like a huge in-depth review on it until like maybe at a later point if I get a chance to see it again. But at any rate, here are just my general thoughts of The Rise of Skywalker. Crap. Like, it was just crap. Like, it was just, no. Uh, um, I don't even want to give it the time of day. That's just how kind of bland, boring, and just laughably stupid it was. Just the entire premise of it was kind of a joke. Not only does it just retcon just sort of Vader's redemption, but it also, I mean, it doesn't take away the sacrifice that he gave, but it also just, it does take away its significance entirely, and it just kind of ruins Return of the Jedi. And now, for what? Rey, who is just perfect at everything, which we all know, and it's it's seriously uh, validated everything that we have been saying for years about these, these stupid Disney Star Wars films, and I think, at first I hated this one the least, but now I just think that I I'm just so... Like, I'm done with it. And I think I'm more satisfied with this movie than any of the other ones is because it's fucking over. And I want it to be over. It's done. I don't care anymore. Like, look. The stupid Raylo kiss. Why? Why did you... Why did we need that? It's just... It was so forced and just looked stupid. And I, I just kind of wanted to throw up a little bit. And look... Uh, at, I mean, the acting wasn't terrible. I mean, there were some really genuinely great moments of, of acting and brilliance. Like Adam Driver, when he's trying to bring Ray back to life. I like to think the, his facial treasures were amazing. Harrison Ford coming back. I loved it, and it worked so well in this movie, even though it doesn't make sense that, uh, what is he, a Force Ghost of Vision? You know, I don't care. Harrison Ford's in it. I give that moment a pass. So that's my bias. There you go. Luke lifting the X-Wing out of the water. I loved it, even though it makes no sense for a Force Ghost to do that. I don't care. It was a great moment. It's just like, why doesn't he just go and do all this other stuff? Like, why does why don't they actually fight? Why did they make... Why do only living people? Or why are they only able to do it? Why can't Force Ghost do it? I don't know, and I don't want to have to fill in the gaps to be able to make this movie make sense, because I shouldn't have to do that. And I feel like I have to c jump through a bunch of hoops trying to make sense of this. Because so many things that happened in, to, in this movie that was just laughably stupid, like Ray floating, like crisscross applesauce meditating with the rocks floating at the beginning of the movie. It just that moments like that that weren't intentionally funny, I ended up bursting out loud laughing. By the way, when Ray died, I clapped in the movie theater because I just wanted for one moment just to believe that Ray was fucking dead and she was defeated because she never fucking lost a goddamn day of her life. Ever. It's ridiculous. She's gone through no trials, no tribulations in the movies. She's lost her parents. She's had to scavenge for herself. What What else? Okay, yeah, she doesn't lose a fight. And she kicks the villain's ass in the first movie. Everything is rendered pointless with this. And I think just ruining like Darth Vader's redemption was a huge sin. Uh, bringing back Lando Land was great. I loved him. Uh, they actually utilized Chewie and C-3PO, which was great, better than just being decorations in the background, like Anthony Daniels feels that he's been, like, for the last few years, which is fucking insulting to a legacy character and a legacy actor who's been involved in every single one of these films since 1970 fucking seven. It's just... I... I didn't like the movie. And it just... It's taken me just until now to just kind of have that sink in and just, I think I'm more upset about just having the lack of words to be able to accurately talk about and describe every single moment that was wrong with this movie, which is something that I will not do until later when I have the movie in front of me and I can take notes because, look, it's just, 
it, it'll take forever. So maybe I'll have a more in-depth review later, but as of now, I just, I don't know. I, I was under this kind of illusion or delusion, if you will, of just, I didn't hate this movie as much as the other ones. But the more I think about it, I, I think just the more I hate it and the more depressing that it makes me feel. And this is the holidays. I shouldn't have to feel depressed or upset or angry, but this is what Disney and Lucasfilm has done. They have just created this monstrosity of a, of a movie and just, just gave a giant middle finger to George Lucas while there were a bunch of middle fingers to Ryan Johnson that I greatly appreciated. In the movie's context, I mean, for example, like, Luke catches the lightsaber that Rafe throws, and he's like, that's no way to treat a saber. I'm like, thank you. That was great. Like, that, that's the things, those are the kind of moments that I kind of like to talk about. But look, just, the, like, every single moment when there was something that was about to happen, and there was, an, there was a problem, just... Yep, oh, problem solved. And also, like, the power of friendship is, like, a huge theme in this movie. Just all the time. And what the fuck was Mary doing in this movie? Like, I'm not talking about Mary May. I'm talking about, like, Mary from Lord of the Rings. Dominic, who, I forgot his name. But, like, what, what, it just took me out of the movie. And a lot of moments took me out of this movie. Like, any moment that involved Rey being perfect, which was all the entire movie. Oh, when they're sinking into that quicksand, it reminded me of the devil's sla uh, snare in Harry Potter. Like, for some reason, like in the first movie, when they just kind of, like, slip through. That's kind of what happened here. And then there were moments that I just was so bored. Like, because I already... Like, I wish I had gone into this movie blind, because... Everyone and their mother has been, you know, talking about the leaks, talking, you know, about Reddit, and you know, I have been uh, too, and just e we've all been discussing this for so long that it's just now that I actually see it, the only bright side that I, the, the only light at the end of the tunnel that I see is no longer having to talk about this anymore, and just it, it's just like this is, but it's not because of the conversation surrounding it. It's more of just that this exists and that we have to talk about it because it's a, it's a crap movie and look I'm gonna give a more in-depth review later because right now I just am so not only so fucking busy because it's the holidays like I couldn't this couldn't have been a worse time for me to like have to do a review and I feel like I kind of have to do this like I, this feels like a chore not because I'm making a video but because I'm having to waste my time thinking about the rise of Skywalker which I don't want to do anymore so that's it and uh, maybe I'll put up a more in-depth review later but right now I'm just so angry and so infuriated about this just complete crap of a movie that I don't want to talk about it anymore so let me know what you think in the comments down below leave a like subscribe yeah um, ugh, fuck it hate this movie it's fucking stupid